Okay hey guys, thanks for joining me for another workout. Alright, today's workout is going to be all gliders, as you might notice from the title. Um, if you don't have gliders, that's completely fine. As you can tell, I don't either. Um, so paper plates will work. Um, or if you don't have a carpet and you have hardwood floors, go ahead and put your coziest socks on and that works perfectly as well. Um, for some single-legged where you needed more stability on one leg, you can always take one sock off and only use uh, the one working leg. So yeah, it's going to be lots of fun, but super challenging. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, run through all the moves, uh, just so I can show you how they are done, as well as any modifications you want to do with any of the moves. Um, then I'll stop talking, and then we'll go ahead and get in our workout. Okay, oh and, sorry, so today's workout format is going to be two rounds, so it's only 20 minutes, two rounds, first round is going to be 40 seconds of work, 15 second rest, then the second round is going to be 35 seconds, 10 second rest, and you can always do as many more um, rounds as you want, but for this video I'm only going to be doing two rounds, you'll definitely feel it after two rounds as well. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So for your first move, you're only going to need one glider or one plate. So you can toss that. That's going to be a reverse lunge into a high plank. So I'm going to demonstrate with my right foot. So you're going to do um, a reverse lunge. Place your hands down, high plank, step forward, and then come up. That is your move. We're only doing one leg at a time. If you want to modify it, you can go ahead and just do a reverse lunge with the glider and you'll still feel that burden. Alright, that's your move number one. Second move is all core and arms and whole body. So what you're going to do is it put, start in a high plank. You're going to only have one glider. You're going to have the other leg right on top of your um, bottom foot. You're going to tuck in, press out. Tuck in, press down. If you want, you can always just do the high plank and just do one knee at a time. Still super hard. Move number four. We're going to go ahead and do a lateral lunge. So you're going to have only one glider, not alternating legs. You're going to just go all the way down, come up. Make sure that your weight is in your heels. Go down and up. Coming up. Then next round we'll go ahead and do the other leg. Move number five, that's ten. Move number five is going to be burpees. We all love burpees. So you're going to have both gliders. What you're going to do is just reach up, no jumping unless you really want to. Press down, out, push up, back in. Reach up, whoo, out, back in. I feel like these make, the gliders make burpees kind of fun, kind of. Um, if you want to modify this move, you can always just go ahead and up, reach up, step one leg at a time, you can skip that push up, and then come back in, reach up. Okay, so move number six is going to be, again, another combination. So you're going to do a circle with your legs into a chair for all of my yogis out there. So what you're going to do is start in a high plank. You're going to go ahead and tuck in, circle out, tuck back in, into a chair, back down. So out, around, tuck in, in, around, tuck in. Super hard move. If you want to modify that one, you don't have to do the chair, and you can always just do one leg at a time. So very hard, just alternate your legs. And then you can always do one leg at a time, and then come to a chair. So it's a lot of lower core. Alrighty, next move is gonna be a knee drive. So you're only gonna need one plate for this one, or one glider, or one sock, whatever you've got. You're gonna put one foot back. You're gonna kinda do like a chop across your body. So you're gonna have this uh, standing leg bent, you're just going to chop. 
So you're using your obliques, but also getting a burn in the um, standing leg. So you can always put your hands on your hips and just do the legs if you want. But if you want, you can go ahead and add that chop. Really reach. And then we'll do the other side. I lost count what move this is. But we're going to go ahead and do hamstring curls for the next one. So you're going to need both plates. You're going to lay down on your back. Heels on the plates. Hips up. You're going to extend it out and come back in. So this is a lot of... Um, hamstring work, so you can always alternate one at a time, so you don't strain that hamstring, but you can always get two legs at a time, try to keep your hips up, and you don't even have to go all the way out, you'll definitely feel it right here. Alrighty, last move is a tabletop push, so you have an option to use dumbbells with this one if um, it hurts your wrist. If not, you can just go ahead and just put your hands on the plate. I like using a dumbbell for this one. So you're going to be in a tabletop position, and what you're going to do is just drive all the way, however big of a space you have. Keep in that tabletop position. Hey, again. All right. So that's like a little cardio move at the end. So you're just going to go as far and back, um, depending on how much space you have. Alrighty, so during the video you might see me disappear, but don't worry, I'll be back. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get our workout started.
in the neon You came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on But when that in the shadows can ease your broken heart They turn the volume up, you shut your mouth
We've been driving around Singing songs way too loud Because we wanna Picking up our love friends Fill up the car till it bends Because we wanna We wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is in young Don't need anybody else Yeah, we just wanna dance